The 90s produced some awesome pickup trucks. Some of them eat up the road with their scintillating performance. During the 90s, pickups weren't necessarily glamorous, or at least intended to be. Most people bought trucks because they needed them for utility purposes. For now, we're going to look at 10 notable trucks from the 1990s, the pivotal decade that acted as a turning point and saw the pickup truck begin its transformation into the gadget-laden haulers they are today. The Chevy Silverado 454 SS is hands down one of the most revered and iconic pickup trucks of all time. Sure, it might look unassuming by today's standards, but despite that, the massive 7.4-litre V8 under the hood, delivering 230 horsepower and 385 pounds-feet of torque, would make you think twice before passing upon it. A three-speed automatic transmission is paired with this engine. It could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in about 7.7 .7 seconds. 1990 was the announcement year for the 454 SS, which is why Chevrolet only made 17,000 units. The Chevrolet 454 SS might not look spectacular or even fascinating, but it certainly wowed audiences upon its release back in 1990. Retailing today on the used car market between $17,000 to $25,000, the SS is truly a timeless bad boy and is definitely worth an investment even today. Nineteen ninety-four was a pivotal year for trucks, not just for Dodge, but for the industry as a whole. With the complete redesign of the Ram fifteen hundred, Dodge had taken a new approach to the world of pickups, offering far more amenities and creature comforts than its previous offering, which held its roots in the nineteen seventies. Dodge carried over older engine options with the addition of a fantastic eight liter V ten to the lineup. In addition to setting the tone for what Ram pickups would replicate to this very day, both General Motors and Ford were keen to take notice when the 1994 Dodge Ram debuted. Due to its popularity, the luxurious and user-friendly nature of modern pickups can be traced almost directly to this very truck. The redesigned 1994 Ram was a sales success and was named Truck of the Year by Motor Trend in 1994. A successor to the Jeep Scrambler, the Comanche was Jeep's last pickup truck until the Gladiator was brought back in 2019. Heavily based on the Cherokee, the Jeep Comanche was a pickup variant of this platform that offered far more versatility than its SUV counterpart, at least if passenger space wasn't a concern. While most trucks from the 1980s are known for their poor gas mileage, the Comanche returns excellent fuel economy given its class. Although the Comanche stands out as a unibody pickup in a world of full-frame trucks, its inherent ruggedness made it an absolute legend. Sadly, these trucks were only produced between 1986 and 1992, after consequently being killed off by parent company Chrysler. Despite not being as iconic as other Jeep models, the Comanche is slowly but surely becoming a classic. It's virtually impossible to create a list of great pickups without including Toyota, especially considering that the 1990s represented an era that some consider to be their peak reliability, a reputation that obviously stands today. Designed for the US and Canadian markets, the Toyota T100 ran for six good years, from 1992 to 1998. The Toyota T100 was an honest, simplistic truck built primarily for light duty. There are plenty of users for the Toyota T100 who have had this reliable truck run for over 200,000 miles without any complaints against the truck. However, 
The T100 is a reliable truck, even though not sporting the flashy exterior of other 90s trucks. The 1998 model for this truck is certainly the best of the lot. It came equipped with a larger 3.4-liter V6 as compared to the 3-liter V6 that it ran with for most of its production cycle. The name Ford Ranger has been used on three major model lines sold by Ford since the late 50s. However, during the mid-80s, the Ranger name was given its own model line, and thus the Ford Ranger as we know it today was born. The pickup truck was mainly sold in North America and parts of South America. However, the Ranger name was also sold internationally. The truck was the first compact pickup truck designed by Ford and has been one of its most successful products to date. Plus, it is extremely easy on the eyes and aesthetics always help, after all. The 1991 GMC Cyclone kick-started a performance truck revolution and spawned the similarly powered GMC Typhoon in 1992. The truck is most definitely one of the best to have come out of the 90s and is a high-performance powerhouse with an engine to die for. A 4.3-liter turbocharged V6 powered this pickup, churning out 280 horsepower and 350 pounds-feet of torque. It may only have a towing capacity of about 2,000 pounds, but it can burn up the street. Moreover, it was so fast back when it came out that it even held the capability of putting Corvettes and Ferraris to shame at one point. This 90s legend can race from 0 to 6 to miles per hour in 4.3 seconds. Inarguably one of the best trucks to buy on the used car market, one would have to shell out around $30,000 for a cyclone today. Like its rivals from Toyota and Nissan, the Mazda B2200 was an honorable contender in the realm of light trucks during its day. However, if you are looking for things like leather seats and copious amounts of power features, this isn't the truck for you. The Mazda B2200 is inherently Spartan in nature, built to serve its purpose and not much more. Engine options are also modest, featuring two four-cylinder drivetrains. The base version displaced 2.2 liters and churned out a meager 85 horses whereas a 2.6-litre variant shelled out 121 ponies. Both are obviously on the low end, but due to their simplistic nature, these little Mazdas became some of the most reliable trucks of the 1990s. The truck was very well received by car critics and car enthusiasts across the globe, with the comfortable ride, smooth handling, and general everyday car abilities highlighted as exceptional. The Nissan hard body of the 1990s was a versatile machine that was quite popular. Also known as the D21, this successor to the Datsun 720 came in two versions, Standard and King with two power plants, a four-cylinder and the bigger V6. The old-school Nissan hard body represented just one of many light pickups that swept the United States through previous decades offering reliable utility for an affordable price. Sold worldwide, the hard body proved itself as both a capable load carrier and off-roader owing to its solid engineering and capable engine. Even so, the Nissan hard body is perhaps best known as a favorite during the wave of mini-truck customization of the 1990s, a scene that has yet to be resurrected. Unfortunately, these days seem to be long gone, The Toyota Tacoma has been manufactured in the United States since 1995 and is one of the most successful pickup trucks to have ever come out of Japan. The first generation Tacoma first arrived in 1995 and immediately caught the eye of truck enthusiasts. 
rather than focus on capacity and ruggedness like other pickups at the time, Tacoma's aim was to concentrate on ride quality, handling, safety, and comfort. During the first couple of years of production, the Tacoma was highly successful and sold exceptionally well, especially to young buyers. The trend has seemingly continued, with the Toyota Tacoma still one of the most popular pickups for young people. The original Ford F-150 SVT Lightning debuted in 1993 as an effort from the Blue Oval to ward off the performance-laden advances by General Motors, which were taking on a new realm of sport-oriented trucks during this era. Out of the factory, these trucks carried a 5.8-litre Windsor V8 engine, hopped up to 240 horses and 340 pounds-feet of torque. Obviously, not that much by today's gargantuan standards, but back in the day, the original Lightning could hustle from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds. Not bad for a heavy pickup without an insane amount of power. Despite being a bit of a gas guzzler, the SVT Lightning is quicker than almost all the 90s trucks on the used car market and is remarkably reliable, which is why it is also a truck that one would rarely see on the second-hand market. There are not a lot of people out there who want to part with their SVT Lightning. <laughs>